Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about ZBrush 4 R5 Curve Mode Brush. This is a really, really exciting tool, so let's just dive into it. Uh, let's pick a brush. Right now we're going to do uh, uh, lots of sculpting, so um, probably, I don't know, press BCB. This is clay buildup. I love this brush because you can do so much with it. Now, um, let's create some type of pipe. So, let's turn on transform, okay, Y, close X, and radial symmetry. Okay, now we've got this. Now hold down Alt, okay, and then press BIN, up, uh, BIN, to inflate. Okay, then shift and reduce the Z intensity. Okay, and then B BMV. You just pull that in a little bit on both sides. Okay, the, um, let's see, I've got my move brush, so uh, size up a little bit and scale this in just a smidgen. Okay, BIN, BIN, Alt to increase that just a little bit. Uh, remesh, zoom in and inflate the middle just a tad with a smaller brush size. Okay, I, I think I like that. Okay, now that is 13,000 polygons, so that is just right. So now press uh, B. Create, insert mesh, okay, new, now watch this. So let's create a humanoid character real quick. Light box, uh, new sphere, don't say, who cares. Okay, now BMV, draw size, okay, now upper arms, Neck. Okay. Pull in. Let's give him his flat belly. Arch his back. Okay. Now his legs, so let's remesh, BSH, reduce the draw size, draw out, remesh, BIN, give him feet, knees, uh, okay, now let's give him some arms, and to do this, let's use our new insert mesh brush, so press B, okay, and right down here. So click this and you can draw out. Nice, that's exactly what we want. Now we want to create arms, so instead of just, you know, okay, that looks nice and that looks nice and that looks nice and that looks nice. Okay, he's got arms, oh, but they don't look too right. Press Control Z back to where nothing happened and uh, let's go up to the stroke menu and turn on curve mode under curve right now you'll open this up and it will be you know where's curve okay curve curve mode and every after every um, brush it will reproduce another one so what I mean by that is if we created a straight line it would create one right after another right and let's see what that looks like so far so click and curve and create, you know, squiggly arms, and then move them however you want to. And then if you see this red line, that means that you can create more of that brush. So let's zoom in. 
and create it just to where his uh, shoulder starts. And then rotate, move this around. Yeah, um, to where it's, yeah, this can get tricky if you have um, go under stroke, if you have snap, it says right there, snap curved surface. If this is off, then you can put this anywhere on your character, which might be nice. So let's move this. Whoa. What just happened there is we increased the brush size, and if you click on your object, it increases that size as well. So if we increase this further and then readjust it, then we've got crazy, crazy long arms. Uh, but if we shrink it down and then resize, now let's drag this out just so we can create, you know, his arms better. Okay, inside his body, so now he's got arms. Now our character's done, and let's give him a few bumps, muscles. Okay, there's our character. We just created an insert mesh brush. Could be anything. I'm going to show you that it looks, you know, one after another. That's fine. That's all this brush can do. But if we go to stroke and adjust this slider to 0.29 whatever, or whatever, and then click again, it will create the same brush reproduced for over and over again, closer and closer together which gives a drastically different look. Now it looks like the wired pipe or whatever I started talking about. And if we go the other way, curve mode, three, five, six, that's good. Click. Um, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Now it's all over the place. So if we drag out a new line, it will be every sixth um, brush that it would lay down, it would lay another one down. That doesn't look too good, so let's go back down. Uh, point three, that that's nice. And then redraw. Uh, the snap is on, so nope, no, it's not. It just uh, bend curve. Let's turn snap back on. Let's give him a necklace. Okay, where's the red line? So we can create more. Yep, right there. Click and drag. Okay. Fancy. ZBrush 4, R5, curve mode brush. Um, I hope everybody uses this. It is a lot of fun because if we go back, uh, let's go back to where we, before we even started. Undo, undo, undo. We could make this character a brush. So press B, create insert mesh, and we can create a new one, which would create a new brush, or we can append to the last brush that we were using. Let's do that and just to illustrate something else. Apply, okay, press M. So when we press M, we can choose which brush we want to use. We can use our original brush, which is like that, the one we're used to or we can press M and switch to this brush, which is going to look kind of weird. Yay, little guys. And if we increase the uh, brush size, it will look different. So draw size. see uh, let's increase the draw size yeah I'm not sure why would you you would use this but I don't know you decide so yeah I hope everybody uses this feature if you like this video want to see more please subscribe like and thanks